Welcome to the game shop. Are you looking for anything specific today? Great, and have you owned a Nintendo 64 before? It's been a while. Okay, I can definitely show you that. We actually just got a pretty nice collection traded in. Do you have a budget in mind? And are you a member of our store? Okay, I can sign you up if you want. So basically, you would just get monthly emails and they would include some promotions that are going on in the store, any big sales coming up, and sometimes they even have coupons, so... Okay, I can sign you up. So what is your first name? And your last name? Your email? And then your phone number? Perfect. So I will grab that collection for you and show you what we have. So I figured I would show you the console first. And I will just make a note about this. It just got traded in, so it's not completely cleaned. But I can do that for you if you were to purchase it. Another note I wanted to make. We do test all of our consoles and games, so if you were to purchase this or any of the games, I would test them before you leave. And then if you have any issues with the games or anything, there is a 30-day return policy. So here is the console. And it's just in the kind of original color. We did have an orange one and a red one, but they just sold. So, here it is. And you can see the nice logo right there. And the four slots for your controller plug. is the back. I'll show you the bottom as well. So this is in pretty good condition. Obviously it's not perfect since it is used, but not terrible. Let me show you the top. And this is what I need to clean before you leave, but there's just some dust in all of these little slots here. So I'll just get a Q-tip and clean inside to get some of that. And in the meantime, let me just dust it for you. And do you remember where the game goes? insert a game to show you in a minute. So then a few other things. This is your power button. It just moves up and down. And then this is your reset button right here. And then this right here is your expansion pack. So do you know what that is? 
So all that does is increase your RAM. So that's good to have. Some Nintendo 64s that get traded in don't actually have that. So I'm glad this one does. So there's your console. And then I do have two controllers to show you. And it will actually come with both of them. So this is the first one. And it's this clear purple color, which I love. So let's test it out. Looks to be in very, very good condition. So it works well, none of the buttons are sticking, and then it just needs a little bit of a wipe down. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. So that's the first controller. And then here is the second. This just looks like your typical and 64 controller. This one's in pretty good condition too. Sometimes we get ones traded in that are very, very beat up from years of fun. So these are pretty good. So let's test the D pad. I hear a little bit of sticking in there, but I can actually clean under that too. And then up here. Okay. Yep, so this one looks good as well. I actually, I like this controller. I think it's comfortable to use. So, both of your controllers, and then a few other items I wanted to mention before we look at games. The first is the very important memory card, which just goes in the back of your controller here. And then you could obviously have game saves. Then we have a rumble pack. And here it is. Are you familiar with what the rumble pack is for? Yep. So, back in the good old days, controllers didn't automatically vibrate. That's why you had a rumble pack. Again, this just goes into the back of your controller. And I originally remember playing Star Fox with this. And I know it made the game rumble during different parts, but it also works with many other games. Then you also have this. Do you know what this is? Yep, so this is a transfer pack. So again, plugged into the back of a controller. And this was interesting because you could actually use this for Pokemon Stadium, a game I'll be showing you shortly. You could put your Game Boy game, so Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, in the back here, and upload your Pokemon to the N64 game. And then you could use them to battle. So just something interesting about the transfer pack. So if you're a 
Pokemon fan It might be something cool to have So you can play your Pokemon in Pokemon Stadium So any questions about the console or the accessories, the controllers Okay, so why don't I get the games and then we'll go through them So I do have quite a few games that were traded in Give you just a brief synopsis of the game and then go from there so you can kind of tell me if you're interested, if you're not And if you're already familiar with a game, just let me know And I will stop talking about it, of course But let's see what I want to start off with I start with a classic I'll we'll start off with Super Mario 64 so I'll show you close up And this is the first 3D Mario game So this game is in great condition There's a little bit of a mark on the top Looks like it might be from tape or something Which I can get off for you so I consider this one of the greatest games ever At least for Nintendo 64 It was so fun and challenging Very challenging And even years later I feel like it's worth playing It's a great throwback for any Mario fan Even if you're not a Mario fan, it's a great game to play and it's just very well done and impressive for its time So that's Super Mario 64 Now let's see here How about Mario Party? So, have you played a Mario Party game? Yeah, there's so many of them So this is actually the first one Yeah See, the sticker is in really good condition And does that bother you if it's in good or bad condition? Okay, I know some people who are collectors need it to be pristine, so I always make mention of that So obviously this is a great game to play with friends you have your typical mini games that are part of Mario Party. Nothing too challenging. And you move around on a game board like usual. Or you can also play mini games separately. It just depends on how. You want to play I'm just lately dusting the sides here So I'll set this aside and then I think at the end whatever games you're interested in I can price them out for you And then let's just talk about Mario Kart next so got another classic and this one definitely needs cleaned You can clean it if you choose to buy it It's just a little bit of sticky residue But the actual sticker is good It's just right here, you can see a little bit of yellowing So this is a great multiplayer game, of course Fun to play with friends And battle mode was pretty cool Now I will say the graphics of course are not like they are today But that's to be expected 
to a good one to own again if you're a Mario fan. And then we have Super Smash Brothers. I actually never got too into any of these, mainly because I thought they were too stressful. But Super Smash games are great to play with friends. Especially if you have competitive friends. So the sticker looks good. And it's just chaos playing a Super Smash Brothers game. You can play as different characters with different abilities. And similar to a few other games I mentioned, even though there are newer versions of Super Smash, it's nice to have this classic one. I think there's only one more Mario game. And it is Paper Mario. I'm just gonna clean this one a little bit. I do see some dirt right on the side. looks good and this game I think still holds up today there are newer Paper Mario games but this is such a good one but this story is just still so funny great humor typical to Paper Mario games I love the music in this game and the battle system and the paper design of the characters. As you can see, and you just meet a lot of fun companions that help you in this game, so it's a good one to have. So that's all of our Mario games in the collection. So now, let's see, this will move on to maybe Majora's Mask. So I love this cartridge. It's a pretty gold color. And then the label here, a little holographic. So you have Link on the front. This is in great condition. So in Majora's Mask, you play as a young version of Link. It's kind of more of a dark Zelda game. And you use masks to do certain things. Definitely plenty of exploration. Really good narrative. And just a unique take on a Zelda game, in my opinion. Basically change into three different characters to complete the story. Okay. So there is Zelda. And then I know we have Ocarina of Time somewhere in this bundle. Here it is. So Ocarina of Time is the other Zelda game included in this bundle. And this is just another classic. Ocarina of Time is the game that brought out into the 3D gaming world. And it was just so amazing to play when it came out. A really, really good story. Fun gameplay, cool abilities, cool weapons. And a really good final battle. And it's definitely regarded as one of the best 
amount of games ever. So it is needed for a Nintendo 64 collection. There it is. And, hmm. It's on top. I guess I'll talk to you about Banjo Kazooie next. Are you familiar with Banjo Kazooie? So, really cool levels. I know there was a beach area, swamp area, forest, I think what else? A desert. This had a really good script and music too, so if you care about that, you would like this game. And I like the controls for this game, but it was very difficult. Being said, still an essential Nintendo 64 game. Speaking of difficult, Donkey Kong 64. So I do see a little bit of a scratch here and there on the label. So I can give you a discount. Here is Donkey Kong. Like I said, I always found this game challenging. This is the first 3D game in the Donkey Kong series. It's good to have. And then obviously, really cool puzzles and lots of fun mini games. And you have a cool yellow cartridge as well, so I also think it's an essential game to have for your collection. I set these aside. And now just a few more. So why don't I want this one? I want the Pokemon for So, next up we have Goldeneye. Now, have you played Goldeneye in the past? Yeah. I think almost everybody has that I know. So, you're of course playing as James Bond 007. And this sticker is in good condition. So it's a first-person shooter. I recently played a little bit of it, and for its time, it was amazing, but it's just so funny to play now because of the graphics. But again, for its time, it was amazing. And you could play with friends, fun missions, and again, it was a first-person shooter game on N64, so just a must-have for your collection. And another game that's very popular for Nintendo 64 is Star Fox. This one needs cleaned a little bit as well. I might have to get some cleaning solution for this mark right here, which I can do again if you choose to purchase. So in Star Fox, you play as Fox McCloud, who I don't see on the front, but you fly in your spaceship, the R-Wing, and it's basically a space shooting game. So, it's cool to travel to different planets, and the space battles are fun. Here's the bat. And there's also a really good multiplayer mode for four players. And then some fun levels. 
else. I don't remember all of them, but I do remember one in a submarine, so that's another good one to have. Now I'll tell you about the last two games, which are Pokemon games. So we have Snap and Stadium. So Pokemon Snap Actually, I believe one came out recently for the Switch. This is your original. So, all you're doing in this game is taking pictures of Pokemon. And so it was a very different way of playing Pokemon. So you were taking photos. I think there were 60 some that you could take pictures of. So it was done pretty quickly, but it was just a cute game. No stress, which is always nice. You could just take pictures and relax. And then the opposite of that was Pokemon Stadium, which was all about battles. So, Pokemon Stadium, again, another unique Pokemon game. And I remember it was really cool to see your Pokemon in 3D on the screen compared to on your Game Boy. So, better graphics than a Game Boy at the time, more realistic. And, like I told you before, you had that adapter, a transfer pack. So you could actually use your own Pokemon in the game. Then I think you could actually play Pokemon Red or Blue on the Nintendo 64 with the transfer pack. And I remember thinking that was cool too. So, if you like Pokemon, they're both good to have. So, I think that is it for this collection. Now, we do have other Nintendo 64 games on the shelf over there. You can browse and take a look if you'd like. Or, I can just price out what you'd like to buy from this. Yep, so it doesn't have to all be sold together. I can sell separately. So, what were you thinking? Yep. So let me grab those games and then I can just bring up my computer and check you out. Alright, so you said Super Mario 64. It's about $25. Super Smash. It's about $30. Ocarina of Time. Also about $30. Pokemon Snap. That's less expensive. Yeah, that's $50. And then Donkey Kong. with both controllers and none of the other accessories. Oh, just the memory card. Okay. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a discount today. We do have a sale coming up next week, but I'll give you a bit of an early access. So I'm gonna sell you all of those games Plus the system with controllers for $150. And that is actually a very, very fair price. Especially compared to our competitor stores. Sounds good. Okay, good. And how 
Will you be paying? Card. Thank you. So again, 30 day return policy, so if you have any issues with any of the games or with the console, bring it back in. But before you leave, I'm going to just clean everything a little bit for you, and then back it up. Okay? So just give me a few moments and I will do that. Is there anything else you need or any questions? Perfect. And if you do end up having questions about any of the games or the console or even plugging it into your TV and getting it set up, I recommend looking up a YouTube video. There's a lot out there that can just show you how to do it. Or you can give us a call. Alright? Oh, it was so wonderful talking to you about the Nintendo 64 and please feel free to come back in again we're always having really good sales so I look forward to hopefully seeing you again soon